Hello and welcome to Madrid, Spain. I'm here in Puerta del Sol, one of the main squares here in the city of Madrid. And I've decided to use this city to launch the very first episode of Ad Talks. Ad Talks is a platform for you, educators and parents, to write in to me in terms of some of the situations, some of the conflicts that you're having in terms of values education and character education. And I am going to share some stories, some creative ideas in terms of getting you to teach your child or your children certain techniques so that you can build up his or her character. So we've got a very first letter coming in from Deborah De Silva's son. She asks, Dear Ed, I would like to teach my four-year-old daughter the values and the pitfalls of learning how to share. She is an only child, but has many friends who are much older than she is. She has a few friends who are younger than her. However, often she encounters problems when she wants to share food and toys with others and they will not want to share with her. She's both a boisterous yet gentle little girl and sometimes she finds it difficult to understand why another child isn't sharing their things with her while she's being taught and instructed by me to share. Thank you, Deborah, for writing in with this question. It seems like it is a very puzzling situation for you because you don't want your daughter to be receiving mixed messages. You are teaching her to share, and yet at the same time, her friends are not really sharing things with her. So in my book, Tangle of Giants, Stepmother, and the Big Bad Wolf, I will be highlighting a more complete system where you can inculcate values and characters uh, in a more systematic way. But for now, I'm just going to share two tips with you. The first tip is that you are recognizing the possible clash in value systems between you and the community that you are in. I am not familiar with your culture or where you are from, which city you are from at the moment, but maybe there is a possible clash in cultural values. Let me give you an example. Punctuality is something that I cherish quite deeply as an Asian coming from Singapore. You know, so if there is a lecture, if there is a class happening at 10 o'clock, I would be there usually by 9.45. Uh, that is already stretching it. Sometimes I'm always, sometimes I'm there, you know, by 9.30 just to make sure that the space is ready. I'm getting the, uh, uh, myself mentally prepared, physically prepared for whatever that's going to come. But here in the UK, for example, if the lecture is at 10 o'clock, it is just right to enter the space at 10 o'clock. And sometimes in other cultures, it is also possible to enter the lecture theater 10 minutes, 15 minutes late. You know, they have this rubber timing. Um, so that seems like it is a possible clash in cultural norms, cultural values that may frustrate you because, you know, in your, in your situation, you feel that sharing is the most important value that you want to inculcate in your child, in, in your daughter. Sharing is a gift, sharing is a form of generosity, a form of love that you want to inculcate in your, in your daughter. Yet at the same time, the community that she's with, her friends that she's uh, hanging out with may not share the same values. Or maybe they do, but the definition of generosity and sharing would be very different from that of yours. So I'm going to give you a little homework, is that you need to understand, develop a little a deeper cultural understanding of what these, uh, where these parents come from. Maybe in terms of their hierarchy of values, sharing, generosity and, and giving would be very different on that scale. So for you it may be the priority number one, but for them it could be priority number four uh, or five. So tick the effort to understand some of these cultural norms that may conflict with yours and with that you will be able to understand and reduce the level of anxiety and confusion for you as well as for your child. Um, so for example, uh, 
Um, the next step that I like to share with you is that you like to. Uh, I like you to it, ask you to think of a story, a metaphor, or a symbol to teach your child the values that you like to impart. So, for example, you already know that you want to teach her the value of sharing, but yet she is receiving mixed messages. So, I like to share this story with you something I'm just creating right now even as I'm speaking so that you are able to invite critical questions get her to think about certain situations so that she's not confused by the mixed messages around her so I might at this point in time go back to the studio and create a storyboard to create a story and using that story you can invite your your daughter to, to think and reflect on some of the situations and questions and character uh, ideas around the story so that she's able to relate it back to her situation. All right, so the story goes like this, right? Um, so once upon a time, there were two sons, right? We have a, a sunny boy and sunny girl. So Sunny Boy is always shining on this side of the world brightly and, and giving out his warmth and light to the people around, you know. So Sunny Girl is always shining as well, all the time. And sometimes they do talk to each other. And uh, once in a while Sunny Girl gets a little upset because sometimes the clouds cover her light. Sometimes it gets rainy. And, and she feels that, hey, you know, you are blocking my sun. Why are you taking away the sunlight from me? And at the same time, she notices that sometimes people are always rushing into buildings to avoid her sunlight. Or, or some people are always holding on to umbrellas to shield themselves from her sunlight. And she gets really worried it's like hey am i doing something wrong i am here giving out life giving out warmth giving out sunlight sunshine and i'm happy doing so and yet there are people who are out there avoiding my sunlight so she gets really upset and she turned to sunny boy and asked hey sunny boy why are you always so cheerful you know don't you see the people avoiding your sun don't you see that there are you know clouds blocking your your sunlight and sunny boy turned to her and said you know girl it doesn't matter to me because i give what i know best I give because I shine, regardless of rain, regardless of what the people are doing. I shine and I know that with my lights, plants start to grow, people start to enjoy a little bit of warmth, and I bring cheer to those who enjoy my sunlight. You know, so keep shining wherever you are. And Sunny Girl reflected a little bit on what Sunny Boy was saying and decided to, hey, that's a really interesting thoughts I don't really have to I don't really have to be affected by the responses of the people around me because I just give whatever that I know best I do not need some form of reciprocation I do not need to have expectations and so Sunny Go put on a smile and kept on shining brightly kept on shining loving, generously giving and sharing her warmth to the world. The end. So I hope you enjoyed the story. As you can see, I'm using this story to give your daughter some connection to a situation. And of course, at this point in time, you can also ask your daughter, you know, do you want to be sunny boy or sunny girl? And you know, you can question her let her think about some of the things that Sunny Girl might be doing, some of the things a Sunny Boy might be doing. Do a little bit of contrast and comparison to let her think about certain things. And, and with the level of cognition and understanding, you are able to cement certain values that, you, you know, that, that are important to you. So I hope this video is good and uh, do feedback to me. Um, on how your daughter is coping in terms of sharing. 
and uh, I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.